In this part three of our text file handling video series, we're going to look at when we write to a text file, which if you're not too sure, you can go check out video two. But when you write to a text file, how do we format the text in that text file if we want to lay it out in some sort of format with columns and stuff like that? So let's have a look at the formatting. We're going to look at three particular examples. The first example is a simple formatting. Whenever you add to a text file, you can do the following. You can add a colon followed by a number after the string that you are adding to the text file using the right line function. Um, procedure, sorry, it's a procedure. So if you are doing that, what it will do is it will create eight spaces and it will put that string that you are placing in those eight spaces, it will align it to the right. So for example, there you can see it. You won't actually see blocks, but there will be three spaces and then the word Harry will be added if you are adding that to a text file. So that's a way you can format into nice sort of columns. So let's look at an example of that. So for that example, we're going to look at list one. So if we just look at what is currently in list one, there's a whole bunch of names and you'll see how they've all been um, added with a whole bunch of spaces there. So we're using the colon eight there, just put in eight spaces. You can see that there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces for the name to fit. So what we're going to do in our question, we're just going to add on to our list one text file. And so here we can see our algorithm. We're just going to get the name. We're just going to use the name in this example, which in this case will be Mr. Because my name is Mr. Long. And we're going to assign to list one. We're going to append the file because we add it onto it and we know that it exists. And we're going to take that S name variable, which in this case will be Mr. And put it in with a colon eight. In other words, put it in so that there are eight um, spaces available for that name and that it was will be aligned to the right and then we close the file and just say that data was added so let's see what that looks like so we will add the word mister just the word mister so the data was added let's go check out our text file and there you can see mister was added and there because mister is six characters long there are two spaces in front of it so that's how you would display it if you were wanting to put some sort of column feature to show all the data nicely lined up in some sort of column. Now for our next example, we get a little bit more complicated. We do use a little bit of some mathematics here to work out how we want to make our columns. So we want specific lengths to our columns. So here we're going to use the name and the surname. So let's see how we do this. So you can see we are adding multiple things to the text file when we say right line s name and then there's a whole bunch of spaces being added and then s surname has been added so you can see we are using s name like it is in the variable then we are using our formatting technique with a bit of a calculation to add some sort of spaces and then we are adding the surname so what is actually happening here well when we do s name it will put Harry in, but because there's no colon 8, it is aligned it to the left. So it just starts from the left-hand side and will put in the word Harry. Now let's pretend that we want to allocate 8 uh, blocks for the S name, for any names. And then we'll put the surname after these 8 blocks. So what we will then do is we're going to add in 3, or in this case Harry is 5 characters long. We want to add 3 more spaces. So that's why we, with the next step, we take eight minus the length of S name, in this case, three. Add three little spaces to the end of our, um, of our S name so that we've got a nice column of eight for the name. So whatever the name is, it'll always have a, a eight spaces allocated to it. And whatever's in excess will be spaces. So we say eight minus the length of Harry which would be three, so add three little spaces. Okay, so there we go. So that's how we do the second thing that we add in, or the second string that we add into our text file. And then we can just add the surname, which will just add it on from the left after the character eight. So from character nine onwards, it doesn't matter how long the surname is, it will just add it to the end. So we get some nice little structure with our formatting of our text file. So for this example, we're using list two. So let's have a look at what the text file looks like. There you can see we're allocating eight 
blocks or eight characters for the name, a nice little column of eight, so it's nicely lined up on the left hand side. And then we want surname to always start at position nine in the text file. So that's why we add these spaces. In this case, we add three spaces. In the case of Sue, we would add five spaces because that's eight minus three. In the case of Brendan, that is seven characters. We just add one little space before we start the surname. So let's see how it works. So we got the S name followed by the number of spaces, eight minus the length of S name. So if the surname was, if the name was three letters long, we want to add five spaces at the end of it and then we place the surname so very similar to our example let's run it and see what it does in this case we're going to be adding mr long to our text file so there we see the data was added so let's go check out our text file well, i think my text file was open so i think it might not have worked let's just double check there oh, it did work there we go so there you can see mr so they put in a mr of six characters then i put in two spaces because it's eight minus six and then in a nice little column by itself we have the surnames mr long so there we go we know that that worked okay so let's do a little bit more different example in this case we want the name to be left aligned in a column size of eight characters and we want the surname to be right aligned in a column of 10 characters so if that's our situation we're going to use it very similar to what we used in the previous example. We've got our name and our surname, our S name and S surname variables, Harry and Smith. So in this case, we're going to start off by adding the name. So because we want it left aligned, we can just put in name like it is. Then we are going to put in our eight um, length of characters, but we only want to put whatever's left over. So in the case of Harry, if you remember from the previous example, um, there's only three characters left after Harry to make it a column of eight. So we will put in eight spaces minus the length of the name. So we can get a nice column of eight there. Okay, that's great. Now for the surname, we can just put in a colon 10 and it will put in 10 spaces and put the surname always on the right hand side. So when you don't use the colon, it always left aligns the text. But if you put a colon with a number, it will put that much space and put the text on the right alignment of that many characters. So that's what we want our structure to look. So the first eight characters will always be the name and the name will be left aligned. And then the next 10 uh, characters will always be the surname, but it will be right aligned. So let's see this in an example. So in this example, we're going to use list three. And there we can see, there we can see the name followed by three spaces. So that's where all of our names will appear. So from this point on, we should have 10 spaces for the surname. And you can see the surname is now aligned on the right. So we're going to use our calculations. There we can see we add the name. Then we add the difference of the name from eight. So that we add enough spaces after the name to make a nice column of eight. And then we put the surname with a colon 10 to say, hey, make 10 spaces for the surname and put this on the left hand side. So let's see how that works. We're going to add Mr. Long again. And Mr. Long, we're going to add to the text file. So it was added. So let's go look at our text file. And there you go. You can see it was Mr., which was six characters. And then we added two more for the rest of the name column. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spaces for the surname, but we put the, the name, the surname there, but aligned to the right. So using these techniques, you can use any combination of them to help you with the formatting of your um, text file so you can make it look nice and neat and maybe you want to line it up into some sort of receipt type of format or have different columns but using these techniques you can create your text files quite nicely with these special formatting techniques for more videos in this video series um, for part one and part two go to our youtube channel you can subscribe you can follow us on facebook you can go to our twitter account and um, find all other videos that relate to delphi related uh, topics um, as well as some other computer topics as well. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. 
long way.